हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू अवर सीरीज ऑन मटेरियल डिजाइन थ्री विद जेट पैक कंपोज इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल बी फोकसिंग ऑन मेन्यूज मेन्यूज अपेयर अपॉन इंट्रैक्शन विद अ बटन एंड आर ग्रेट फॉर प्रोवाइडिंग एडिशनल एक्शंस दैट आर रिलेटेड बट नॉट इंपॉर्टेंट इनफ टू बी प्रजेंट इन दर्सिस्टेंट यू आई You would typically use a menu to provide secondary actions or a list of options that are related to a particular context. For example, in a messaging app, you might have a menu that allows user to select actions like copy, delete, or forward a message. And now let's dive into code and see how to implement a menu. So here, first, let's create a new file. so menu is always attached to some icon so here let's first take a box layout so in this box layout first let's take an icon button so with this icon button we will attach a drop down menu so for that here after this icon button let's take a drop down menu and put these arguments on separate line so this drop down menu here we can see we have these two parameters so first one is this expanded so it will keep the state whether the menu is expanded or not and also this on dismiss request this will be called when the user request to dismiss menu by tapping outside the menu's bound so here what we will do we will create a state and this is giving error so what we will do let's duplicate these two and let's import get value and this set value so now this won't give error anymore and let's give some space after this and here what we will do we will update our expanded state when the user click on this icon so here we will say expanded to true and this expanded state we will use here and this on dismiss request expanded to false and this is how we will manage this expanded state so here in this drop down menu we need to provide drop down menu items drop down menu item composable function so let's first put these arguments on separate line so text let's use text composable so here we can provide some business logic so for now let's and apart from these two parameters we also have this leading icon so we can provide some icon also so here let's copy this icon code and paste it here and let's use some different icon so let's copy this drop down menu item code and paste two more times and this second menu item will be and after this last item we can provide some divider also and here let's use some text here we can also provide in this drop down menu there is trailing icon so this trailing icon we can provide some text so now we can use this menu in our main activity and here first let's create a box layout and let's use this menu and now we can run our app and see how this is looking so here we can see this is our icon so let's click on this so now we can see this is our drop down menu and this is looking perfectly good 
one more thing we need to see that let's go back to our file and here when we are placing all these things in a box layout so we need to provide one more parameter also here so with the help of this wrap content size modifier this drop down menu will be attached to this icon so here let's click on this control b so here we can see this is the documentation of drop down menu so we can read the documentation from here and also that drop down menu item this is the documentation we can use this color parameter also to change the colors and we also have seen this leading icon and trailing icon and you can read more about this in this documentation so let's go back to our file and this is how we implement the menus that's it for this video on menus in material design 3 using jetpack compose as always if you have any questions or comments feel free to drop them below see you in the next one